Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about partitioning. Partitioning is a fancy math word that just means dividing um, a shape up into smaller sections. So we're going to partition a couple of uh, rectangles today using uh, one centimeter cubes, um, just like your base 10 blocks, the little centimeter cubes. And we're also going to partition using um, some squares. So uh, we're going to take a look right now at uh, problem number one, and it's going to be on page 202 in your math journal. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to go ahead and get out your math journal and turn to page 202. All right, so your teacher may choose to give you some centimeter cubes um, to work with today. You need about 20 um, each to work on this problem with me. So I'm going to use my little centimeter cubes right here. They look like little small squares on my screen. So on page 202, what we want to do is we want to partition um, this rectangle A into smaller sections. And how we're going to do that is in your book, you are going to take those little centimeter cubes and you are going to start filling up the rectangle, making rows and making columns. Now rows go across just like this. You don't want to leave any spaces um, when you are putting your cubes down. So try to keep them going in the same line, the same uh, way all the way across. So notice something. Um, uh, how many cubes did it take to make one row across the rectangle? Okay, if you said five, you are correct. So I have five here in the first row. Now I can start building some columns. So rows go across and columns go up and down. So right now I am looking at one row and I'm also looking at one column. Go ahead and take some time to fill the rest of this square um, with your centimeter cubes and then we will figure out how many cubes you used to partition this rectangle. You may pause the video to work on this in your classroom. So let's look at the first question. How many rows of cubes are on rectangle A? How many rows? Remember, rows go across the page. So let's count the rows. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. So we have three rows are going across the rectangle A. Um, look at our next question. How many cubes are in each row on rectangle A? So let's count the cubes. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cubes in each row. So I want to remember that. And then our next question, how many cubes did you use to cover rectangle A? How many cubes in all? So I know that there are five in each row and I know there are three rows. So I can multiply and count by fives three times. And if I do that, I get how many cubes? If you said 15, you are correct. So there should be 15 cubes in all. All right, boys and girls, you're also going to do the same um, kind of activity on page 203 in your math journal. We have a bigger rectangle this time, and you're going to use a square pattern block 
to partition or divide the rectangle up into smaller squares. You only really need one square um, to do this. You can put your square down and then trace it with your pencil as you go along. Keep in mind that you need to keep your squares all in rows and columns. And then once you're done drawing your squares inside of the big rectangle using your uh, square shape, um, you can then answer some of the questions about partitioning um, on the next page. So uh, go ahead and take some time. Uh, go ahead and partition your rectangle. And then you can talk about those answers with your classmates and your teacher. Boys and girls, when you're done, you can do the math boxes um, that are on page 205. Boys and girls, have fun with this and enjoy. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.